These are from South Africa. Just, oh, there's an old, old one of Pauline Hansen. And that was, um, it was for Who Weekly years ago. And I went to the op shop and got her that dress and the little top and took it up with me. But a lot of these are just personal stuff. I did a story on a fat camp for kids in America. We, I lived in New York in 92 and 3. It's just fun. These are all from there. Uh, that's a bad print of one of the kids from Camp Shane, which was cool. Just, these are all just off prints. These are old ones of um, Megan Gale from years ago. I used to do a lot for Inside Sport magazine. She has a different look now. Well, she's yeah. had a bit of surgery now. Go. She's okay. a, probably 15 years older. Still bloody hot. That's the Harbour Tunnel. There's old Naomi Watts. There's a really old Audrey one. There's just a shit print of it. Oops. A lot of these are rubbish. Um, I should show you good stuff because you're going to think, apart from these being crappy prints. No, I think I think what you what you cull is just as important as what you keep. You know? How scary is that? That's a tranny. Um, from William Street, I remember Petra. I used to live with this gardener guy and he freaked when I came, he came home. He's like, what's he doing here? Mm. <clears throat> but I just love photographing all sorts of people. Old Tara Moss. I remember that was from Morocco. His name was Mr. Casanova. Mm. And he just used to love the tourist girls. So that's, yeah, 92 from Liberty Island. That's a really old one from when I lived in London. Of, um, the guy from Simply Red. That's just another print of that one up on the wall. Oh, a little, we'll be doing something like uh, this today, but that hasn't got a lot of colour in it with a girl where I've lit the front with torch and the back's lit with either flash or constant lights. So mixing those two up. Um, I'll do, <clears throat> we'll probably do some stuff, two of the guy, I might, there's no, unfortunately there's no good clouds up there today because of the shit weather, but I might shoot something like that too. We'll do some boxing with the guy, we'll make a boxing, little boxing ring downstairs. These are really old when I was 20. And this is not blood, but it's iodine. It was bypass surgery, and I'm old, sorry if it's a bit early for that. Um, old one, old picture of John, uh, Danny DeVito. Old ones of um, Billy Zane, and I used to use a Pentax 6-7. Old Vin Diesel. All sorts of crap in here, this is a real mixed bag. Oh, this would have been a portrait thing session at a hotel room for a magazine, and I've taken a little movie project. That's his name, Sam Neill, the actor guy. I've taken a backdrop. I'll take a couple of lights with me. I'll take, I took a movie projector with me because there's never any much of the hotel room. So you think a lot about props before you... <coughs> yeah, oh, not a lot. Can... I literally go, shit. Chuck that in the car. I hate. Now. I'm not good at pre-production because <laughs> if I overthink, I, I'm not very good. So I chuck the camera in. I just think to myself, how can I make it easy if there's nothing there? Um, I think also maybe working with actors, you can get a lot more out of them. You can. You? Yeah. You can. Expressions and. I want to find this kid. I just found that kid off the internet, but I just love him. Oh, we'll do this. That's wifey. So that's a, that's actually shot like that, upside down on the floor. That's just with um, painting with light. Painting with light. Yeah. And when you, by putting them on the floor, then they don't move, so they don't get all that weird double imaging stuff. Good morning. Hi, how are you? This is Good Chris. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now. Good morning. Are we nearly all there? Yeah, we're ready to go. We've got Ben. He went to his as well. Okay. More old Danny DeVito. An old guy who was Quentin Crisp. He was Orlando. You've ever heard of him? Yeah. When I lived in 
New York in 92, 93. And I got this guy by just, um, saw him just on, on the street and just rang directory and asked for Quinton Crisp in the East Village and they gave me his number and I just asked, can I come take photos and, and interview you and stuff? And he's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> he was lovely. So I'd often go have lunch with him. Old Björk from um, in, dress. <laughs> as, oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> from um, that was the in Grammys. Centennial Park. You know, before I was showing you a Jeff thingy, that Jeff thing Hennig. downstairs, that's just an old one of him. I'm sure if there's anything decent here. Actually, got so many paints lying around. Oh, this is just shit. I need an office fire. Spifey. Again, from the schizophrenic project I did. He was a cracker fine. Oh, there's, I a, literally there's walk. that big shot you've got of yeah. him like that on this wall. I do. Line. I literally walked around the corner in um, down near Matthew Talbot at Woolmaloo <laughs> and I saw that all over the wall. And I went, oh shit. And it was, um, and I went, oh wow. And then this guy just came down and said, um, his name was Greenslade, is his last name, v uh, Vince. And he said, um, oh, I, I did that. I said, oh wow, look at that. And he said, yeah, I wrote all that. And then he I wrote said, it. Yeah, he, he wrote, wrote all it. that. He's massive schizophrenic. Oh. And I said, oh, you've got wonderful tattoos on your hands. And he's like, yeah, yeah, look, I'll show you. And he started taking his. Oh. And I said, hang on, hang on. So I had to explain to him what I was doing, had to get him to sign a model release, yeah, of course. negotiate a little fee with him, and then away. And I'd often go see him. Um, Fantastic. Just drop by. That was when he was a handsome man. Um, he still is. He's got no hair though. <laughs> um, Blundell, the... Graham, no, sorry. <laughs> yeah. He was a singer. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Also, as my dad, he'd had bypass surgery. Oh, so see, I go to that stupid um, zombie walk. I often go with my daughter every year, and I'll, I take, I only use a little Lumix camera, um, and I just shoot these. I often set it to square. That's cool, That's right? Yeah. With all this <laughs> oh, these were just colour tests for a thing I did about four years ago for the um, Wollongong Uni, where you had the teacher and the pupils. Did so many different ones. Mm. Kept the lighting the same and then just push them together Sit and down. then you can just, with a bit of liquify, line the noses up and things a bit yeah. better. Yeah. Uh, I used to do a lot of corporate for um, Price Waterhouse Coopers. There's um, my old assistant, Aaron, who's a nice guy. Um, doesn't know any much about photography, but he's a good chef and he's a lovely person. <laughs> <laughs> that's a handy assistant. Yeah. So that's, that's and a that's, guy? <laughs> <laughs> that was at Scott Morrison before the first one. That was his office. And I wanted to do Welcome to Australia as a piss take of um, Where you'll be yeah. here. And, and that's, yeah, can I help you? <laughs> Tim also um, dabbles a bit in wet plate photography as well. Oh. But I've, I'm a cheater compared to Chris. Oh, here's the colour one of that too. Oh, Bryce Courtney. Used to do quite a lot for him. I like, just because I had to often go and get commissioned to do a shoot with someone and then become quite a good friend. And um, then they ring you up and say, can you come and do photos for this or that? So that's just crap leftovers which should be downstairs. Yeah, I'll chuck it. This crap. There. This is shit. No, there's a lot of crap. Show the good stuff downstairs. Anyone that afford this is better than anything. <laughs> 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 there's a lot of crap. Why are we here? <laughs> I was thinking, see, I like that too. I was just wishing we had Sky. But, um, Maybe in the alley. Had, 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 yeah. It's and a, it's just, it's a the whole thing is, is there's a famous line. We all have heard of Helmut Newton, haven't we? The, 
pervy old German who worked in Australia in the 50s um, and then went back to just set it up in the garage. And so then, yeah. Say so this was a story on do your own funerals. Um, <laughs> Would you get the, the coffin? I just went round to the funeral parlour at Leichhardt and said, if I, can I borrow a coffin? And they said, no. Never heard that request and before. And they said, if you pay for our <laughs> breakfast. They're Italian, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I bought a breakfast and I put that on the top. I had a range, old range. Range of, no. Land Rover Discovery. I put it on the roof of the Land Rover and it was awesome. And drove on. <laughs> But this lady loved it. And we it's just, just it's this was before you asked people, we just pulled up at this house at Gravestains and just reversed up in the driveway and started taking photos. Knocked on the door first, no answer. Perfect. There's a lot of gorilla, because they just don't have budgets. Yeah. Same that's in a police boys club. Um, that was the guy, Joni Rich, who had Oh, lost yeah. all the money with one yeah. tail, yeah. and he was so oh, arrogant. Yeah. This, I when I went to meet him, this one I went, Jodie Tim Now, first time I got a photograph, someone that's lost two billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, What do you want me to do? That's it. It's, a lot of it's just not being rude, but just reminding them that you're just as important as them. Yeah. Okay. Just removing all the fluff there. So typically how long would you get with them when you've got to go on a shoot? Is it like half an hour? Or yeah, an hour? half an hour, sometimes an hour or two. So you've got to work pretty fast. You've got to half work fast. Hour. See, I did years of, dare I say it, um, of tits and arts. No, oh, how difficult. <laughs> See, that Rolling Stone, I was telling you that book I found. Look, I've got my name on the cover. Oh, team. 1980. <laughs> Who was that? Young that was the one downstairs, I think Chris. And these are some yeah. of the prints from there. Yeah. Oh, from the book. I just sang to Panya, I found my little working diary with all the Polaroids and exposures from when I did this, because I love to oh. keep all this crap. Don't know what. See that's Jeff Fennick as a kid. Mm. He's 20 years old. Um, used to do a lot of Olympic Games people. Mm. Love doing um, a lot of these at tungsten. I love tungsten because it's simple. You can see it. It's punchy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did a lot with black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why. Right. Are they still published? No, no. Oh, Go on. He's actually yeah, folded in November. Studio magazine. Oh, that's a shame. They're selling a whole stack of it for me books. <laughs> like, Are they? Yeah, for that five. All it's sorts just, of yeah, crap. It's changing. Just crap. It's just crap. No, yeah. also, <laughs> well, it's not. It's crap because a lot of it's commercial. And see, I, I make notes. These would be old um, for uh, Cosmo Cleo or something. Instead of tethering. Yeah. Oh, so you do polaroid, you know, small softbox, f11, color meter, eight green, shot with ten green on the camera, EPP plus half a stop. Blah, 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 strips, this, that, white paper, uh, all that crap. So you didn't know, um, that was an underwater shoot I did, and so I had to have a map of everything. I was going to ask everything. what happened to that tank that you Gave had. it to my Italian buddy. Oh, was he going to bury someone in it? Well, <laughs> so yeah, these were uh, Uncle Toby's. That was. Uh, but uh, the main, I see these were PWC portraits. They're the best fun is getting real people to do mm. portraits with real people and mm. convincing them. Oh, you did Timberland, you did recently do the Timberland stuff. Did I see that go up? No, it's old, um, what's it called? Was it Timberland? Was it was. Or a Dryzerbone? Look, handsome young guy. That was me as a kid, I had a knicker map. And I had a, a 20 mil lens. <laughs> my, I had a <laughs> yeah, tripod bag. I like it. You shoot from a lower angle, so you look taller. That's what I. That's what I get people to do. <laughs> tripod. Classic. Is that the fish and chip shop lady? Yeah, that's her again. Pauline. <laughs> and these are just when I've gone to meet my wifey or girlfriend at the time's parents in South Africa. We just I get a 
go down to the docks or whatever and take lots of photos. That was funny of um, oh, Peter Morrissey, who did the costumes, not costumes, the out the uniforms for Qantas. Mm -hmm. But he's got his own Qantas plane, Qantas jet now, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a Qantas jet. Um, um, the John fiddler, Travolta. Travolta. But I had him come up to go, he wants me. Because he's a gay boy. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty sure he's a gay boy too. And I had the whole time Morrissey come up, he really wants me, I know. He wants me. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps coming really close to me. And I'm like, ah. I think I've just copied that same box there. And I've kept, I've, look, without being a wanker, I've got lovely, beautiful signed reflective from Andy Warhol, and I've got some beautiful um, Have you got your photos gifts. that you took of Andy Warhol? Yeah, I do. Oh. Not in here, but... Oh. I do. Oh, Lachlan Murdoch. So, okay, let's get the show on the road. So, should we do a single line? Yeah, let's do a video. So, just before... Yeah. But I do, like, Willie looks too boring. So that's... Not character. Yeah, he's... Glorified <laughs> He's got a ringy on there and a top yes. light. Yes. <clears throat> I just find the skin tones too... too safe. Oh, he's got an up and down. Oh, he's got a ringer in the back. Yeah, he's got oh, his ringer. Here. Yeah, ringer and a beauty dish, probably. Because you can see... And he's got a reflector underneath. So that's going to be a circle, tiny little circle, his ring light. And then he's got a flecky sitting underneath. And he's probably got a beauty dish on, on top coming down, which is that shadow. And everything gets filled with the round one, the ring light. That fills in all the little shadows. But I reckon the best guy that does it is... Um, See, I like that, but I like it in black and white. That's, mm. I like, um, oh. I love those awkward guys in front of the camera. Yeah. But I love also, um, my favourite, one of my favourites would be Dan Winters, an American photographer who does beautiful magazine portraits too. Yeah, he's fantastic. And obviously the best outdoor guy. Oh, Sebastian Salgado. <laughs> That's real photography. Well, thank you very much, Tim. Well, thank you, thank you guys for all for coming. And I'm very happy if anyone's got any questions or if you want to ping me any files or, you know, mm. let Pania and Chris We're know. We're going to ask you for some in the drop box as well. Of course. From, especially the ones we did this morning. Of course. <laughs> of course. One, one of each. Of course. Yeah. Oh, well. You'll see a whole stack. So give us a day though, because I won't do it until Tuesday. There's no deadline. Mm -hmm.